Well, let's modify this. We um, got our application, so it opens a, opens a file, but it has to be in that specific directory. You save it anywhere else, it doesn't work. Well, um, you have your comic controls here. There's also a uh, dialogs here. If I choose dialog, I see there's an open file dialog. And there's also a save file, file dialog. But if I double click the open file dialog, it puts it down here in the bottom so it doesn't actually appear in your form. Now if I want to uh, load a file, well at this point, this open file dialog, I guess I ought to give it a name. Uh, I don't know a better name than that. Okay, so we'll use that name. So before I do all this, I'm going to... Um, first show that I do an open file dialog one dot and um, we show dialog okay let's run this okay so if I click load it pops up with this so I can I can point it to whatever location and I'll go ahead and break that <clears throat> and stop this. Okay, that's what show dialog does. Now uh, we want to check to see if they click the OK. So I put this in an if statement: if open file dialog, open file dialog one dot show dialog is equal to dialog result dot. And these are all the things you can do: abort, cancel, or there should be an OK there. Okay, so if they click the OK, that means they've selected a file and I need to do something. Okay, well, I need to get my file name. Uh, so up here, I can have another, another variable called file name. Then down here, I'll say file name is equal to open file dialog one dot file name. Now at this point, I'm going to take this code right here and I'm going to move it uh, so that it's uh, up there in the in those beginning braces. Okay, so put it right here. But instead of the uh, number CSV being hard coded, I'm going to put file name here. Now the one thing I'm not sure about, it's been a while is if it actually contains a directory on this also but we'll see okay so i click uh click start on this i click load and i want to point it remember we went to our documents visual studio 2015 projects um example reading the file all right where did it go Example reading a file from Excel. That folder, bin, debug, and there it is. So if I click that, okay. So now it says it's being used by another process, <laughs> of course. Because over here in Excel, I got it open. Okay, so let me do a file close on this. And um, let's run that again. Okay, so run it, click load, and I'm already in the same directory where I moved everything to. So I cl click numbers.csv, click open, and it opens that up. So no longer do I have it hard coded. If over in Excel here, I do a file and open that up, and I'm going to do a file save as, and I'm going to point it to my temp directory and save it save it there I'll click yes and i'll go ahead and close this now so i do a file close go back to my program run it click load and then um i'm going to point it instead of that folder 
I go to my C drive, go to my temp, and I look for the file here. And um, numbers, I guess. Click names. Um, there it is, numbers.csv. And it brings it in. Now I'm not limited. If I click load and I click one of these other files, like computer3.html, well, it'll bring in uh, that information. This is assuming it's a text based file. Notice it did not clear out the previous results. So maybe I want to clear the list box before I do the open. So um, up here, I want to say lbox numbers dot items dot clear. And that'll clear out the list box then. But that shows you how to use the, um, the show dialog for opening a file. Go ahead and save that, and that's the end of uh, part two.